Make the sun your best friend. Okay? This is going to be the topic of this video. You need sunlight, everybody. You need it. You know, just like you need water, just like you need food, just like you need so many things, you also need sunlight. You know, many of my friends that I'm talking to, I'm trying to persuade them to get some sunlight. Why? Because I see that they're suffering. And this is the biggest thing that they're missing in their lives that they don't have, that they're not getting it. They're not registering it. It's like sunlight, buddy. You don't want to be living here like a vampire. You know why vampires are struggling in life and why they're, uh, when they get exposed to the sunlight, they start to burn, like, ah, okay? The uh, mytho mythological vampires in the books, in the stories. Well, let's look at the uh, l actual, logically, what a vampire is. A vampire is an unethical being. He goes and feeds off of you, like a mosquito. Probably doesn't feel good, you know, to go feast on your body. And so when he gets exposed to sunlight, all his impurities get destroyed, which is, in essence, he gets destroyed. So it gets uncomfortable. Ah, okay. Similarly to you, right there, you watching me. Hello. When you go outside, your impurities start to get burned. They start to get burned away. Why? Because that's what fire does. That's what sunlight does. It uh, cooks you from within. It cooks you. So many of you need to be cooked. Now I'm uh, hearing you already. Oh, well, it's... What is it? What's the month today? December? Oh, it's December. I live in the Northern Hemisphere. I live in the Southern Hemisphere right now. I'm in Darwin, Australia. So I'm, you know, it's like 34 degrees today. I'm chilling. I'm not chilling. I'm, uh, I'm warming up. I'm cooking like a little chicken, a rooster. So everything is good for me. Everything is fine here. But maybe you're living in a frozen wasteland like Canada or some Northern European country. Six months out of the year, that's everything's dead. It doesn't matter. Still... Uh, Go outside when the sun is the highest in the sky and there are no clouds and it's not too windy. Negative 20, you'll manage, okay? You're at the same breath, you're preaching, oh, you gotta take cold showers. Yeah, 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 cold uh, uh, hello, go outside, get some sunlight. Don't worry, you'll be a little bit chilly, but that's fine. You have a home to go into, you can go and warm up. It's not gonna, uh, you know, end you. So look, buddy, go outside, get some sunlight. Whenever tomorrow, whenever is like 12 noon and the sun is the highest in the sky, go lay, out, lay outside, go lay a blanket and get as much sunlight as you can on your body. You have to perceive this, you have to feel this out, how much you need, okay? So lay down on one side, uh, wide open, and I don't know, five minutes or 10 minutes, however long it takes for your body to feel like it's recharged. Then flip over, okay? Just like you're flipping over a steak or a little piece of toast. And then you toast yourself on the back. Again, five to 10 minutes, you feel it out. You see how much your skin can tolerate because obviously too much of exposure to the sun will damage your skin, damage your body, that's not healthy. So a few minutes a day, it's, a, it's what your body needs, okay? You're solar powered, you need to recharge yourself with the sun. You need to recharge yourself. There's no exception, okay? I going to hear you thinking, oh, but I'm in this cold land and it's too cold. Ooh, it's a little bit too cold. What's the alternative, okay? Where are you getting energy from? Coffee? Uh, no, I'm gonna make a video about coffee. You stay tuned. The next one's gonna be coffee. Where else is it gonna be? You know, you're doing all sorts of funny things for your energy. Buddy, okay? I don't, I don't, I don't know if you understand this, but in the whole solar system, not in our planet, not, uh, you know, in, on Mars, not in the United States, but in the entire solar system, okay? The sun is the most powerful energy source. It's not your little nuclear generators. It's not a little coffee that you sip. It's not a, what is it? I don't know. It's a little uh, gasoline generator. It's not you lighting something on fire. It's the sun. Just truly get this for me, okay? Like you look at the sun right now and it's like a little tiny little thing up there. And it's like, oh, it's a little bit warm. It's like, oh, it's nice and cozy. But you're not getting it. You're not seeing the full perspective of it. It's a super giant, massive monstrosity of a fireball. It's, it's burning up like a hundred tons of billions worth of hydrogen fuel. I don't really know how it works, but it's burning constantly there. I don't know how it gets the fuel to do that. It's like constantly on all the time. Even when you're not seeing it, when it's on the other side of the, when the earth shifts the rotation and it's nighttime here, it's still burning. It doesn't stop. And ladies and gentlemen, get this, okay? Hear this because it's really gonna blow your mind. It's not gonna stop burning. It's never gonna stop burning, okay? Essentially. Because you're here for a little hundred years, poof, you're gone. You're just a little, little blip. Oh, see ya. Your little bubble. Your little bubble that just formed on the little uh, 
side of the uh, Ganga River and a little little foam bubble and then poof you go back into the outer existence that's what you are okay that's what the Buddha said life is it's a little bubble it's like a little froth poof. the Sun is gonna be here around you after you your, your kids your grandkids your good for a hundred thousand generations and still it's gonna be up there okay then after a couple billion years not million not thousand not a hundred thousand billion after a couple of billion years, I think it's going to expand so massively it's going to eat up the whole planet. But that's, you know, a couple of billion. That's not, that's not anytime soon. That's basically forever away. Okay. As far as your human self is concerned, this is forever. It's going to be burning forever. It doesn't stop. It never stops. It's a huge energy source. It's like, where are you getting resources from? Are you going to dig in the earth? Oh, I'm going to get some silver and gold. Good. That's needed. Okay. But that's like inexhaustible. You can't get enough of it. It's the most powerful most beautiful thing and buddy okay get this you're already eating sunlight you're already consuming sunlight how why you're eating fruits right hopefully you are you go eat there you go eat a mango or some grapes or some juice or anything the fruits are just absorbing sunlight and storing the sunlight when you eat it that's where the energy comes from okay the energy doesn't come from water yeah you need water you need to drink water like i need to drink water right now jump up Okay, they gave me a little bit of energy Ooh. and it replenished me. My body needs water. It's what my um, body is mostly made out of. Okay, you need water. But uh, if the sun went away and I couldn't enjoy the sun, me drinking water, me eating, it, it wouldn't be, you know, it would nothing. It would be nothing. So you're eating sunlight with the fruits that you're eating. You're already consuming sunlight. You just need to go to the source. Okay, instead of dealing with a middleman in business that's taking like 30% of the commission, why don't you save yourself the commission? and um, cut out the middleman and go towards the source, which is what? The source of sunlight, okay? Instead of shoving your mouth full of food that you probably don't need, that takes a long time for you to digest. Why? Because you're lacking in energy, you're lacking in life, because you're not going to the source, which is sunlight. And, uh, you know, just cut that out, meaning don't, don't, obviously don't stop eating food, you need food. But go to the source. The source will give you all the energy you need. And then everything else will be easy here on Earth. Everything is easy on planet Earth. Once you get enough sunlight. Okay, why? Because that's literally the God. Okay, show me. Tell me. One one thing that's more powerful than the sun. Okay, let me hear you. Is it a little uh, handgun that you have in your United States? A little... No. Is it a little nuclear power station that, uh, uh, you know, uh, powers up your city? No. Is it a little coal factory? You burn a little coal? No. What is it? There's nothing, there's nothing more powerful here. It's the sun, it's the most powerful thing. So when you go to the most powerful thing, you absorb the most powerful thing. Then when you look into this human world and you're like, okay, what do I gotta do? It's easy, it's easy, everything is simple. It becomes easy, okay? I learned this, realized this last year, 2022 or 23, whenever. Uh, I was in the, it was winter time, 2022, I believe, in Canada and I'm sitting there and I know my solar plexus needs the sun. I need the sun to fire up my body. I need the sun to destroy my ignorance, to destroy my, destroy my illusions, to destroy my impurities, my unwholesomeness, my addictions, everything. But I can't get enough of it because the sun is uh, too far away from the earth at that time, from Canada. And also it's cold outside and I have, to, I have to sit outside for like an hour just to get the same effects that I'm here in 5-10 minutes in Darwin, Australia, okay? Why? Because the sun is the highest in the sky. <clears throat> so I'm like, please God, uh, you know, take me somewhere where there's a uh, sunlight and I can get sunlight every day and I want to live next to the sun. But poof, I'm here, right? I'm very, living very close to the equator. Um, probably I'm going to go to India, which is even more close to the equator in South India. And I'll get even more sunlight there. So I knew that I'm the source of, the source of power comes from sunlight. I knew that the strength, the source of strength comes from sunlight. Why? Because the sun is the most powerful, most amazing, more alpha male type thing in the whole universe. At least, yeah, you know, we can comfortably say that. Why? Because you're not going into some Andromeda galaxy and being exposed to that massive sun, which is much more bigger than us, uh, our sun. So in our universe, nothing more powerful than this, okay? Not any Sadhguru, not any Jesus, not any Buddha, not any anything, okay? Not any even Shiva, whatever. Any being that's walked on the earth is insignificant or tiny compared to the sun. I'm just saying it in this context, okay? The sunlight is the most powerful, dominant thing. 
No one can withstand going and jumping into the sun. It's the most powerful thing. I, there's no arguing with me, okay? There's no, there's no two ways about it. The most powerful thing, you need to go towards the most powerful thing. And it's like so missed in people. It's so missed. You don't get it. You don't get it, truly. You know, I didn't get it. It's like, oh, it's a little sun. Yeah, it's a little, you get a little, uh, little tan. Maybe you got to put on some sunscreen. Hey, buddy, why are, you, why are you putting on sunscreen, okay? Yeah, if you're going out there for 10 hours a day, probably you should put on some sunscreen. But don't be afraid of the sun. The sun isn't something to be smeared your self with some white glue or some paste. God knows what's in there. And then what? Why are you doing that? Oh no, get away sun, get away sun. I want to be a vampire. No, okay? Go outside, two minutes a day. I'm not saying go and burn your skin. That's, you, you, you know, you can burn your skin. But I go outside every day, whenever is needed, when I feel like hey, I need sunlight, which is pretty much every day. Okay, like one day a week I take a break because I'm maximally charged and there's no reason for me to get sunlight. So I go outside, I heat my body up for five, 10 minutes each side, however long I feel like it takes. And then, okay, boom, I'm ready. You know, just like you shove a little piece of toast in the microwave, you uh, hold it there for some time. And after like five minutes, it goes ding. Okay, it's ready. So sunlight, there's nothing more massive here. You need to get it. You need to understand this is the most powerful thing in our universe most powerful thing in our solar system is a source of all energy it's a source of all light it's a source of everything positive and good you need to go out there and get some sunlight go enjoy some sunlight go fire yourself fire yourself up heal yourself it'll be it'll destroy you you know it'll do everything that's good for you in your lives get some sunlight what else some one more thing needs to be shared the sun is much more than just a ball of fire okay you need it again it's a need it's not a little want it's like i'm maybe convincing you hey you gotta go and quit your job or wear some clothes or do something or something that's not a necessity that's not a necessity okay it's just a little like improvement in your life the sun is a necessity okay you don't want to be a vampire trust me and most of you are vampires like white pasty it's not even about your skin color it's like you're not charging yourself with sunlight what are you charging yourself with i don't know but it's not the, the sunlight, which is the most powerful thing, which is the thing that you most need. So you're not doing that. I don't, God knows what you're doing. Okay. It's like, if I don't charge my phone with the electricity, what else am I charging my phone with? How, how is it working? Am I going, come on, phone, charge up. That's crazy. Don't do that. Get some sun.